fellow citizens with the saints. Wait a minute. The only thing that make you a citizen with the saints is when you got the same citizenship. That's right. In order to have the same citizenship, you got to make the same pledge that everybody got to make. That's right. You got to repent of your sins and go down the water. Yeah. I don't mean pledge to standing in front of some old red, white, and blue flag. No. Amen. Then the colors of the harlot, America. That's right. Amen. Red, white, and blue are the colors of the harlot, America. That's right. Amen. Amen. I said I wear red, white, and blue are the colors of the harlot, America. That's right. Amen. You can see pieces of her dress flying all across the country all across. on people's yards. That's true. We pledge allegiance to the whore. To the whore. <laughs> we don't pledge allegiance to no country. To no, that's right. We pledge our allegiance to God. That's right. And God only. That's right. When your children in school, never have them pledging allegiance to the flag. No. We don't swear by nothing no, on this earth. That's right. Nothing. Nothing. To pledge your allegiance means to give all. Yes. We give our all to God. That's right. Not to America. That's right. Every Amen. time I preach that, sometimes veterans log on and cuss me out. One veteran said, I bet you never served time in the military at all. That's right. <laughs> I didn't serve in the uh, military of America. But God ended up drafting me. Oh, yeah. That's right. God Almighty draft me. That's right. That Bible? Give me the bleed of Book of Timothy. Listen, do hardness. Second Timothy chapter 2. Follow me. And we're at verse 3. What is it? Thou therefore. Thou therefore. Endure hardness. Endure hardness. As a good soldier. Of what? Of Jesus Christ. He's my commander. I'm a good soldier. That's a good soldier. That's right. A good, good soldier. Amen. Amen. I'm faithful to the battlefield. That's right. That's right. Maybe so about it, brother. No, I'm faithful so. to the battlefield, too. Amen. So, no, I never joined the Air Force, Marines, and all in the Navy, but what I'm preaching covers heaven and earth and sea and land. Oh, yes. When you die, they come and may shoot some blanks over your body, give your mother or your wife a flag folded up. <laughs> That's and right. then give it to her and stand there and salute. Salute. Uh huh. <laughs> what right. I want is when God comes. Oh yes. Send me up into eternity with Him. That's right. I don't want no flag. No. Amen. No. no. A flag given to my wife for a country that I they don't give two cents about me. That's right. Men of color fought in World War II and came back to this country and got hung. That's true. With their uniforms on. That's right. That's right. Hung them with their uniforms on. Amen. That's Amen. True. So the government, if the government, someone said that's the past, but this is what I suggest that every so-called president and every so-called congressman, if you go look at the Constitution, you know there's a certain area article in there that put people of color as certain amount, uh, a certain quantity. Was it three fifths? Uh, only three fifths of a human. And there's still certain clauses in there yeah. that still point to being able to buy a person mm. and own them. So what you need to do is make an amendment and, and admit that all that was a lie, and right. uh, we no longer belong to Trader Joe's. <laughs> That's right. I haven't met a congressman yet that will get up in Congress and fight and address that issue. No. And I haven't met a president or heard one, including Barack. <laughs> That's right. That's true. Get that article out the Constitution. Amen. Get it out. Amen. Y'all talking about tearing down statues of Confederate flag? Change that rotten slavery Constitution. Amen. Change it. Change that constitution. Amen. 
Don't you know the so-called founding fathers founding who fathers. said they were Christians, they was uncircumcised liars. Yes, they were. And practically all of them were slave owners. That's right. That's right. Change the Constitution. Amen. Get that article out of there. Yeah. Erase it. Abolish it. Abolish it. That's right. Get rid of it. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? Preach it. This is the axe. This, this is, is the axe. hammer. Oh, yes. This yeah. is the, uh, the sword, the you sword. know. Get that article out of there. Yeah. Now, on one telecast, I want to get copies of that article. Here, I need you to get that article for me. That specific article in large print. Yeah. But you know, now I need reading glasses. <laughs> blow, blow it up, Pastor. I got to blow it up. blow it up. I mean, I would like to blow it up and so we can put it on television and show the people sure. the article that's still in the Constitution that endorses slavery today. Yeah. yeah. You old, I, I, I keep telling America is a liar. <laughs> a lying country, you're the most liberal country. You're a liar. Amen. It's a hypocritical nation, y'all. Your hearts need to be circumcised, and when that happens, you don't mind the instrument of straightness. That's right. You amend every other law. Yeah. Why don't you amend that? That's right. And any so-called congressman in the South, whether he's a Democrat or Republican, or whether he's white or black, and he wants to oppose getting rid of that, Amen. he's nothing but a hypocrite and a bigot and a two-fold child of hell. Amen. Even if you say you're a Christian, I challenge your Christianity. Yeah. 